Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Nia Creative Home YouTube channel. For today's topic, I'm going to uh, explain a little, bit, a little bit how to implement the layout in your in your design to make the layout work for you and to work for your space. So let's get started. Many of you, the main goal of the design that you are creating is to create a space for you to relax, a space for you to get creative and to simply be yourselves. That's like the main goal for creating a design to create a space. Now, more than ever, people are investing in the way they're decorating and the type of decoration they use. Everything till there, everything is good, but doesn't matter how beautiful the, the decoration is, how beautiful is the design that you choose, the colors that you choose. If you don't think about the layout, if you don't have like, the t if you don't put the proper time to design the layout that you need for your space. The first thing that you need to do is to plan the layout. And there are a ton of ways for you to do it. You can use like a piece of paper and a pen to do that, or you can use online uh, sites that you have with free tools for you to design and to create uh, your layout. You can use like floor plans or you can use like 3D images too. It's easier to do it, it's straightforward and there are free tools to use as well. I will leave here on the description box some uh, links to the platforms that you can use online to create your floor plan or to create your 3D, 3D images as well. Space layout or room layout is essential the aspect of interior design that involves arranging objects and furniture in a given space. Whether it's a home, an office or a commercial building, Organizing your space can, can be impactful in the overall look and feel. A well-designed space layout can create a sense of balance, harmony and flow, while a poorly designed one can lead to clutter, confusion and discomfort. And that's not what you want. You want something simple, you want something that speaks to your mind and you want a place for you to relax and to feel, feel, feel yourself. So you need to really be careful when you are choosing the layout and to choose one that is best uh, suits your needs and your goals. Now I'm gonna give you guys some straightforward tips for you to follow in order to create that perfect, so to speak, uh, layout for your, your room. Let's come with you. The first rule or the first tip is to determine the purpose of a space. I already mentioned this a lot, uh, uh, many times before. Before you start creating layout, it's important to determine the, the whole purpose of the space. Are you designing a living room for entertaining guests or a home office for working from home? Once you have a clear vision of what the space will be used for, then it will be easier for you to create the layout that is functional and practical. For example, imagine that you are designing, as I mentioned before, imagine that you are designing a living room, but the living room is not just for you to sit and watch television. You can have like a playful area, you can have a reading area, you have you can have a, a spot for your kids. All of those aspects need to be taken in consideration when you are designing your space, when you are thinking about the purpose of your space. Because first you think, what will I use this uh, living room for, for? And then you start to design. The second uh, tip is to measure the space. Once you determine the purpose, now it's time to measure the room. Use your, uh, a tape me measure to measure the length and the width of the, the room, as well as the height of the ceiling, because they will, this will give you an accurate idea of how much space you have to work with. And sometimes we think that we know, uh, like, um, kind of the length and the, uh, the width of the space, but then when you choose the furniture, everything works wrong because oh, so I probably need more space or probably didn't have that much space. So it's really important to have the proper measurements. Create a floor plan. Like I mentioned before, you can use online tools or graph paper and pencil to sketch out um, the room layout, but be sure to include measurements and note any architectural features such as windows, doors, and buildings, because all of those uh, features will increment details in your design there are important to when you are creating the layout because for example um some wall can have some sp specific uh, features and that is important for you when you are creating you can have like a bay window and that gives another uh, a different structure to the space so you have to organize the layout in a different way as well so it is important to think about that 
consider the furniture. When you are creating layout, furniture placement is key. Think about the furniture pieces you want to include in the space and how they will be arranged. Make sure to leave enough, enough space for traffic flow and to be uh, and to create a functional and comfortable space. I, I mentioned in another video how important it is for you to think about the flow uh, of, of the traffic of that space regarding to you moving th throughout the space and for energy to flow as well. So it is important to have everything like open and to have everything flowing in um, the proper way. Don't be afraid to experiment with different layouts until you find the one that works best for your space. Play around with furniture placement and try different config uh, configurations until you find the one that feels right. That's why, why it is really important to, first of all, to draw either on paper or on um, a website on one of those uh, websites uh, with tools for that because then you can play around, you can move furniture, you can move um, decoration items. First, you, you plan everything and then you put the, the, the furniture in the, the right places. Consider the lighting. Lighting is a crucial aspect of any room and can make or break the mood and ambience of your space. Determine the natural light sources in your room and consider adding artificial lighting such as a table lamp or a floor lamp to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. Determine the focal point. Every room needs to have a focal point which is the main feature that draws the eye. This could be a fireplace, a piece of artwork or even a stunning view throughout a window. Once you have determined the focal point, arrange your furniture around it to create a cohesive and visually appealing space. That focal point can be the the, the aspects that I made that I already mentioned, but it can be like the television uh, again, living room. If you want the focal point of the room to be television you can make that the focal point so that 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 wall if you want to enhance the space that wall will be probably the one that you want if, if you want to put if you want to paint in different color if you want to use wallpaper and you don't want to, to have too much on the space you the 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 wall with the television for example with the media center can be the one that is going to be the focal point the one probably you can have more decoration items or you can put something that is really specific for your design think about storage storage is essential aspect of any home it's crucial to consider when creating a layout of your space whether you need to store books clothes or kitchen supplies make sure to, to include enough storage solutions and keep your space organized and clutter free your home should reflect your personal style and taste and adding personal touches is an excellent way to achieve this consider adding artwork photographs or decorative items that have sentimental value to you to make your space feel more personal or inviting but always remember to not clutter your space the little details can make a big difference in your space consider adding decorative pal pillows throws or rugs to add texture and warmth warm to your space don't forget about the curtains or blinds, which can add privacy and, and enhance the overall look of your space. With a little bit of creativity and planning, you can transform any space into your dream home. Now I'm gonna give you some tools and some di and different ways to to create the layout for different areas of your house. I'm going just to introduce you guys for the main ones like the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, and so on. Um, just for you to give you some uh, a clear idea. If you want me to bring more types of layout, different places in the uh, in your house with different layouts, let me know here in the comments, and I will be glad to give you guys more uh, input in that area as well. So let's get started with the living room layout. The living room layout um, can have different styles. One is the traditional one, and this can be uh, this is a classic arrangement placement that places the sofa and the chair, the chairs facing each other, often around, around a central coffee table. It encourages conversation, is great for socializing. This one is not often used. For example, if you have, um, if the goal of the living room is to have a television, then probably this one it will not work well. The L-shaped layout is ideal for open concept spaces. This layout positions the furniture in, in an L-shape, creating a cozy and defined uh, sitting area. You can use the corner for additional seating or a stylish floor lamp. This one probably is going to be a bit, uh, better if you want to, to, to have um, a TV area as well. 
symmetrical layout. Achieve balance and elegance by placing identical or matching furniture pieces of either side of a central focal point, like a fireplace or a large artwork. Then you have the multiple functional layout. If your living room serves multiple purposes, such as a home office or a media room or something else, use modular furniture or movable pieces to adapt to different needs. The next one will be the bedroom layout. And with the bedroom layout, you have some um, specific uh, layouts that you can choose from. The symmetrical layout, this one can be achieved balance uh, and elegance by placing matching furniture pieces or either side of the bed. This can include matching nightstand, lamps and artwork. Then you have the bedroom uh, suite layout is a larger bedroom. You can create a bedroom suite by incorporating additional furniture, such, such as a sitting area with chairs and a coffee table or a vanity with a mirror. This type of bedroom, you have more space and you can be more creative. Then you have the minimalist layout. Embrace minimal minimalist with a clean and clear, uh, clutter-free layout. Use simple, streamlined furniture and keep the decoration to a minimum to create a serene and calming atmosphere. The next space that we're going to uh, see some options is the kitchen. For the kitchen, I, I'm bringing you guys just four options. The first one is the U-shape. The, the U-shape is, is perfect for a larger kitchen and provides plenty of counter and storage space. It features three walls of cabinetry and appliances, making it easier for you to move between cooking, cleaning, and food preparation areas. Then you have the L-shaped. This layout is ideal for small kitchens and offers an effective use of space. It features two walls of cabinetry and appliances that form an L shape, leaving one wall open for traffic flow. Then you have the gallery. The gallery is perfect for narrow kitchens and features two parallel walls of cabinetry in, and appliances. It provides an effective use of space and makes it easier for you to move between cooking and cleaning areas. The last one that I have for you is the island. Uh, this one is great for larger kitchens and provides a central focal point for cooking and entertaining. It features a freestanding island that includes a sink, a cooktop or additional storage. The island, you can have like a small island too. It doesn't need to be specific for big kitchens. You can have like something for um, a more narrow, not narrow, but something smaller, but you have to be careful with the type uh, and uh, the size of the, um, the island that you are choosing. Don't overwall the space. And the kitchen is like the, the one of the parts of the house that really needs to have a good traffic flow because we are moving to, to clean, to wash, to cook. So it is really important to take that in consideration. The next one is the bathroom. The bathroom layout can have like a single wall layout. This layout is ideal for small bathrooms. All fixtures like the sink, the toilet or the shower or the tub are placed along one, one wall, maximizing the floor space. You have the, the, the three wall layout. This layout is commonly used to large bathrooms. It, it includes a separate bathtub and shower stall, often placed on opposite uh, walls with the sink and toilet on the third wall. You have the l shape layout. An l shape layout is suitable for bathrooms with some extra space. This, the fixtures are arranged in an L shape with the sink and toilet on one wall and the shower or bathtub on the other. Then you have, for the last uh, layout, you have like the half bath or powder room. This space is limited, it's often uh, small, and you can create a half bath or a powder room with just a sink and a toilet. There, uh, these are convenient for the guests. Or if you want something uh, like um, a quick access to the bathroom in the main area of the house. Additionally, incorporating storage solutions such as a built-in shelves or cabinets can help maximize spaces and keep the room organized. Something else that you need to consider is the plumbing, the ventilation and the lighting when you are planning your, your bathroom layout. It's also crucial to tailor um, the layout to your specific needs and style preferences, ensuring it complements the overall design of your home. In conclusion, the space layout, your room layout will depend uh, of the size of the space that you are using. It will depend on the style that you are using and will depend on your needs. If you need more storage, if you need less storage, if you need one room to have different areas in the same room, um, 
everything has to combine together to create a cohesive, a beautiful, balanced design. And um, one main character is for you to think about the, the, the traffic floor, the energy flow, and to consider the fact that the furniture needs to have the proper space between in between them for example again in the living room you have to have uh, a space between like the coffee table and the sofa for example in your bedroom you need to have uh, the space for you to walk from one side of the bedroom to the other side of the bedroom depend on the bedroom and the pain depending on the place that you are putting your bed you can put your bed in the center of your room you can put the bed in a corner it will depend and something that is really important when you are when you are designing is the layout is to think about for example the door if someone opens and opens the door it has to be like a clean open you you don't you don't you shouldn't have something like uh blocking the door for be open like to the fullest and the windows you need to consider the windows too because when you are designing the layout Opening the window is something important because you need the fresh air, you need to clear the air. You, you have to consider the fact that you have to, it has to be accessible for you to go to the window. It's, it has to be easier for you to go and open the window and has to be easier for you to maintain the window clean as well. All of those are, aspects are important. The door, the fixtures, the, the windows, you have to consider the sockets, the plugs, everything has to come to your design. Everything needs to be uh, incorporated in your layout to when you are planning in. everything. You have to draw everything. You have to put everything for you to understand how you use it. Because for example, you have to, the socket has to be accessible. It has to be easier for you to come and uh, touch the, the socket and put some uh, light into the space. If you have like a piece of furniture on front of that, that's going to make the task difficult. It's going, it's not going to be accessible. It's not going to be easier to achieve it. So again, something so simple like that can be inconvenient and can be stressful. So when you are designing the layout, think about the sockets, think about the plugins, think about all the aspects of the space that you are create, creating. I hope you guys like get a lot a lot of um content a lot of ideas to to plan your layout i i wrote uh an article on my blog with all of this information and with more um more uh, layouts for the different areas i already mentioned if you want to check the the, the blog is straightforward is simple you just have to go to my uh, to the description box below to see what I'm talking about, I'm I'm guarantee you that the 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 blog is not too long and doesn't have a lot of stuff for you to see. It's straightforward and easy for you to, to read and easy for you to access the the information that you are looking for. Either if you're looking for a layout for the bedroom, for the bathrooms, to to the kitchen, it's straightforward and easy to access and easy to see. As I mentioned before, if you want me to bring more options, more design layouts, let me know here in the comments. I would be glad to, to, to bring another video and to respond to all of your questions. If you have questions, please uh, be free to put them on the comment uh, section too. As usual, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this beautiful community, to this beautiful channel. Let me grow this channel to keep bringing you guys more easy and straightforward uh, ideas, inspiration, information about decoration to make your space the perfect space for you and for, for those who are using the space that you are designing as well. Share this video with your family, with your friends, save this video on your playlist if you didn't do that already and hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye! See you people!